Alright, this here's a slab roller. Ain't shit beautiful. Yo, what's up? Okay, so last month, the place I buy my pottery tools and everything from was having a sale on, boom, GR Pottery Forms. So, bought a few new ones. So, uh, we peeling price tags off. They here to stay, but we're about to try them out. So, pretty excited about this. Champ mindset. Why do I gotta make price tags like this? Where they just rip, like what? Why we gotta do that? Like, look, look, there ain't no reason for this to be happening. All right, so I got three of these, right? Okay, so I'm pretty excited. Um, yeah, hopefully they come out good. Show season am is among us. Uh, always running late, but here we are. All right, this here's a slab roller. Ain't shit beautiful. What does it do? Takes a big piece of clay and squishes it down to a very uniform slab. Never seen one. Very simple tool. This here uh, pirate captain's wheel. This is where all the magic happens. But uh, yeah, I'll show you how she works here. Oh yeah, that clay is nice and dry. So typically my clay that I'm slab building with is just a little bit drier than the other clay. And that's okay. Because it's a slab build. So we're just gonna wedge it out. And we're just gonna, you know, beat her with the old uh, rolling pin. We should try this guy first, you know. Uh, I think we're there. Just a touch of more bit. That looks good. Size up your form. I like to have it a little bit wider than the piece, because, uh, you know, I like to have some room. I just uh, crank this thing back up so it'll fit. That ain't gonna fit. Late at night, I got the door open, making sure ain't no boogeyman's trying to get up in here, you know what I'm saying? Can't be having no boogeyman's. That would really wreck the video. Might boost me on the algorithm, but it'd probably wreck me in real life, you know? I ain't trying to have that. All right, so we got it through the slab roller. And we're gonna roll it down here. We got a little, uh, oh goodness, we got a gauge over here. Telling me how deep we going. About a quarter inch, that's how thick we going. All right, then you just hop on the captain's wheel. Roll her on out. Wow, oh, more clay than I thought. Oh, not quite. Not quite what you want to see. Yeah, see the, the siren just came on in there, so maybe there was a boogeyman. All right, so we got a couple air bubbles because we did a pretty subpar of wedging that. I mean, if you saw that, if I included that in the video, you're gonna be like, yo, this man does not know how to wedge. And uh, yeah, you'd be right, I, I really don't. Okay, then we're gonna take our rib here and uh, Smooth alligator. Look at that. Close enough. Am I right? Wonderful. Okay, so I guess I probably shouldn't be chewing gum while I'm recording this. Okay, one more time through the old press here. We're just gonna slap some uh, texture on it. A little texture mat on there. Ooh, that's nice. Lovely. Okay, great. Run her back through one more time, as they say. Yes, very good. Yes, that's great. That's great. Looking good. Moment of the big reveal here. Okay. Uh, Josh, we, we got a slight problem here. I don't I don't think that this really... The uh... texture didn't go in very much, so... I'm just going to take matters into our own hand here and... Uh, hit it with the rolling pin just a touch. Oh, hey, I have a good feeling. Oh, that does not look good. You know, typically, I never have a problem with this, but now you people are sitting here watching me, looking like a noob. Rolling like a big shot, looking like a noob on the YouTube. All right, that's gonna be good enough. It's never perfect, John Channel. Wow, that one, that one there just came out real good, though. That one's almost perfect. Next, we're gonna take our blocks and uh, we're gonna lay it on board here, and then we're gonna drape the clay that we just rolled out 
over it. We're gonna let it firm up for just a little bit. Like I said, it's already a little hard. That's kind of another reason why I like to use harder clay. It just uh, makes this process quicker. So let this sit up for a few minutes and lay it on the board, trim it, and then we're done. So yeah, let's zoom in on that. Grab our clay, come over here and just uh, lay it on. That's gonna give me enough room. All right, so then we just kind of work it. Oh yeah, see how dry it is? It's cracking a little bit. I'm gonna have to spray this. Yeah, maybe the clay got a little bit too dry there. That's not what you want. So tip this just with a little bit of water. And you know, there's probably gonna be some people out there that say that the uh, spray technique's not very good. You know, maybe they're probably right, but you, know, you just gotta do what you gotta do. So, all right, well, this part will probably get sped up, but basically I'm just smoothing out the edge there. Big boy. Oh no. I've actually never had the clay do that before. So, okay, so, yeah, then we've got this thing nice and contoured to our design here. And um, that's what's nice about these pottery forms. Now, some people go ahead and put a foot on at this point. I am not those people. I kind of just like a flat dish. I think it warps less. But yeah, then we just smooth it out with our rib again. And I'll put links to these ribs. I like using a softer rib. Some people use a harder rib, but uh, I mean, these things last forever. They're only a couple bucks. So honestly, you could probably just buy several and see what you like. This is the knife I use, it's got a rounded tip. I wanna have just a touch outside of the bottom of my form here. Kind of freehand these. There's a chance that they end up not being straight. And to me, that's okay, because it's handmade. Plus, these are just one-offs this time. I am just testing these out. I like to round the corners if they're gonna be like this, just because nobody wants a sharp corner and it's probably gonna break anyways. So just peel it away. Now we're gonna let this set up for a bit and do the other one. And I'll uh, show you how it looks when it's done. Waiting on the kiln to finish cooling. I gotta make some more glazes. I think I have to make three glazes tonight. Three glazes, three glazes. I have to make three glazes tonight. Because for whatever reason, I didn't get them done today. Y'all ever have days like that where you just ain't getting nothing done? I was in here for three hours today. I was also here till 2 a.m. last night, getting the bisque started. And the night before that, I was here till 3 a.m. finishing up all the work so that all this would go in and get in on time because today is Wednesday. I got to glaze tomorrow, load the kiln up, and then uh, have everything pulled out on Friday and have my first show of the season, a three-day show. But I got to pull everything out, pack the truck up, and then hit the road early in the morning. Fortunately, the show doesn't start till 11, so I can leave in the morning. The show's a little over two and a half hours away. Hopefully there's no traffic. Okay, so we're in the glaze room. You may not be able to hear me. I got a respirator on. Cause I'm not trying to die from silicosis. So all my materials are over here. We're gonna weigh everything out. My scale is a little dirty. Uh, I got the recipe. It's pretty small, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six ingredients. So I'm just gonna tear this out and uh, get to it, huh? Boom, got the cobalt. Always love dropping that in there. Woo! It's time to mix it up, man. So this technique I didn't create, but uh, now we gotta sieve the glaze. And I saw this on 
Instagram one time, and it's been the best thing ever. I don't have one of those talisman things you crank it around, but I do have this Giffen grip here. And so if you turn your wheel on nice and slow, then you take that glaze that you just mixed up. Oh boy, and dump it in. All right, yeah, then you just uh, scrape all this stuff out here and then sieve it, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Two spatulas and just run it through the sieve. You just hold them here. Look at that. Look how easy that is. It's freaking amazing. We're gonna do it again, and then you're done. Okay. I was really nervous. This whole pile was gonna blow up. They were pretty wet when I put them in here, but I put a nice little soak on there and everything looks good. I'm pretty excited to see how these come out. And that guy, wow, which I accidentally broke one off, but it's a test anyways. Yes. really hot I'm moving the kiln so I just had to uh this sweatshirt Captain's log 2723 crew appears the uh, decommissioned. But I'm still out here, holding strong. I shall finish. Wow, pretty give a thumbs up for the people. We're almost done, how do you feel about it? Very good. Yeah, very good. <laughs> I guess so. Yeah, these platters, they came out pretty cool. What do you think of them, though? Tell me in the comments, you know. I like them. Uh, people seem to dig them, too. I've already been to a couple shows with them. I'm trying to make some more, trying to come up with fun glaze combos and different textures to put on there. The next video going to be coming out. You'll see everything that was in this video getting glazed, pulled out. I'll show you my first show of the season, going to Glenwood Springs. Yeah, so go ahead and subscribe, and don't forget to tell me what you'd like to see me film. Would you like to see some tutorials or anything like that? Look how freaking sick that glaze is, though. Woo!